Hey you guys, today I'm here to do my Q&A and I'm doing an answer part to the question and answer video that I said that I was going to do. Sorry it was not up yesterday, but I had been doing a lot of things. But it's, you know, better late than never. So, I'm grateful for the questions that have been brought to me. And I don't mind talking to you about the questions, advice, and all the good stuff that was left in the comment section. Um, I like doing Q and A's. It gets me. It, it's a way for me to get to know you guys. You guys to get to wait, know me and stuff like that. Instead of me always doing reality reviews and stuff like that. So let's get into these questions and shout outs because I'm gonna shout out the names to ask me the questions. Um, the Taylor J Show. Shout out to her. Make sure you guys are good. Um, checking out her channel. It's a really, really nice channel. I enjoy her videos. So she asks, what made you want to be a YouTuber? Um, I have done a video on this before, um, but I'll answer it again. What made me want to be a YouTuber was me watching other YouTubers and me having an opinion. I'm yelling back at the screen like, girl, you know, that's right, boy. Ooh, oh, my God. And I'm screaming at my screen and I'm like, I can be doing this. I have an opinion also. And at that time, they were we were able to do the um, reply videos to YouTubers. So... I started doing that, but I always wanted to, ha I always had an opinion, and then I was hanging with the wrong crowd, and we wasn't doing nothing, and it was a way for me to get away from that crowd that I was hanging with, so, um, I, I, I enjoy doing YouTube, so that's what made me want to be a YouTuber, I had an opinion, and I wanted to do it and I wanted to meet people I love to meet people and stuff like that so what better way to meet people than YouTube um number two was from Raphael Harwood make sure you guys are also checking out his channel and his question he had a couple of things so let's go on with the first one what is your biggest challenge on YouTube um not being able to get the videos up when I want them, um, that's probably my biggest challenge on YouTube. Um, not having the equipment that I want, that's it. Because it's never about what people say, how people feel, nothing like that. It's about me being able to always consistently put my videos out in a timely manner. That's my problem. Um... Tips on what I can do on my channel to make my channel grow. Be you. That's all I can tell you to grow your channel is to always be you. Don't change up who you are because of what other people are doing. Be you. Your channel will grow. It will come. People will be like, okay, he's consistent. I like what he's doing. Let me keep watching him. You know, stay stay who you are. I like who you are. That's why I watch your channel. That's why I subscribe to you. That's why I'm supporting you. So do you. Talk about things that's going to interest you as well as other people also. Don't talk about things that's just only interesting other people. Because then you won't enjoy what you do. You have to find something that you like. Whether it's something personal that you feel like you could share with somebody and it can help somebody. Or whether it's like something that you enjoy. If you like video games, if you like movies and you just want to talk about movies that you watch. If it's everyday little things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis and you just want to talk about them. There's people for everybody. So just stay you and it will come. Um... How do you not let people run over you like a stepping stone? It ain't in my nature to let people run over me. Um, I and I'm with you because I because I read the rest of the uh, statement and I'm with you. I'm very nice. I'm very giving and stuff like that. So I could be taken advantage of, but I always look at it as. If somebody is doing something to take advantage of me, they're going to pay for it in the end. I'm going to be blessed because I did it out the kindness of my heart. I did everything. So the people that are doing things bad to me, they will pay for it in the end. The karma will be on them. Um, 
But I never let, I, I just say how I feel. And if people don't like what I say or how I feel, that's on them. Because you only can be you. You can't change who you are. You only can be you. And we are in a day and age where you can't please everybody, first of all. And I was just having this conversation yesterday about how we get older and get dumber. Like, And I say that because things that we would not have accepted, like in elementary school, middle school, and high school, we accept as an adult, whether it's in a relationship, things, friendship, whatever. We accept things, and then we say, oh, no, it would get better, or it is. But when think about it. When you were in junior high, middle school, and people hurt you, whether it was a friend or a relationship, if they hurted you or they cheated on you, it was over. So, you know what I'm saying? Have that same mindset that you had back then now that you're older and grown. You know what I'm saying? So, if you wasn't taking shit back then and let people know how you feel, don't don't soften up now. Tell them how you feel. And if they don't like you, that's one person that don't like you, but it's another person that's going to come in your life that's going to accept you for who you are. Um, so that was for Raphael Hardwick. I hope this helped you. Um, shout out to G Smith. She did, uh, I think it's her. Yeah, I think so. But like my glasses. So shout out to you, boo, for even commenting. Um, Kenny Lala, I think I'm saying it right. And she had a lot to say, and I was really, really, really interested in her comments. So I really want to answer this. They say, how can I distance myself from home? Meaning, I am a college student at Pace University. Hey, education is key. I'm all for that. And my parents live in Connecticut. However, they are a little clingy for me to be in college. Constantly calling. I would like to be my own person because I am enjoying myself and enjoying the college life. Hmm. How should I take... Wait, how should I break it down to them that I need to be my own person? That's number one. First of all, I don't want to give you no advice that will get your ass in trouble. That's first of all. Second of all, I don't want to give you no advice if they paying your tuition. <laughs> but since you asked, just know I'm not licensed with no advice. I don't get paid to give no advice. But just take it as it is. Because I'm also a parent, but I also am a child of somebody. So I understand both sides. Um, you have to be able... If you guys have a... I don't care if you got a good relationship or a bad relationship. You have to be able to sit your parents down and explain to them in a calm way, Look, <laughs> I did what you guys needed for me to do. Elementary, middle school, high school. You are an adult, I'm quite sure. You're over 18 years old. So, therefore, they have to give you some kind of leeway and trust you. It's the way it's... And then you say, look, you guys raised me right to do the right things. And so you have to give me some kind of leeway to show you that I can be on my own and do this and not have to worry about what you guys are going to think, what you guys are going to say. And you guys can't keep calling me every time you turn around because how would I learn how to be an adult? If you guys are always clinging to me, being my parents, how do I become an adult? That's what you ask them. Ask them that question. How do I become an adult and live my own life and be able to be able to uh, deal with the world and not have to run to you every time you turn around? Ask them that question. And maybe they'll be able to answer. Just don't come disrespectful whatsoever because it's not going to go the way you want it to go. That's all I know. But I do think you should be able to talk to them and enjoy life. But let me tell you something. Going to college don't mean turning up. So, if you think I'm going to say, hey, well, don't go go do you, go be you, and you out there being the thought box, I'm not, I'm not going to encourage that. But if you want to go to, like, fraternity parties, sorority parties, if you want to go to just regular house parties, and you ain't out there underage drinking and turning up and having sex with everybody and all that kind of stuff, so be it. Because it's going to happen when you're in college. 
Um, but as long as you ain't doing no criminal activity, no thought box activity, just sit your parents down and just let them know. Let you have that space. And if you fuck up, then, then you just back up on me and put me back in my place. But you have to have, start somewhere. Start somewhere. Don't just sit back and just let them keep doing it and keep doing it and you being miserable. Because it's your life. Now that you're grown, there are some decisions you have to make as an adult. Number two, what is your worst fear? And would you conquer that fear for $1,000? Okay, I had two. And one of them I conquered. My worst fear used to be, I used to always have this dream that I would lose all my teeth. I would, I don't, I don't know why I used to have this dream. And then it became reality. It didn't become the, you know, the reality of the way the dream was. But hell, I don't have that. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that used to be my biggest fear. Fear, because I used to always have these this dream that my teeth would just, I could be just sitting there talking to you, and my teeth was going to crumble just in my mouth. And that used to be my worst fear. But I overcame that, so hey. Um, and my second worst fear is dying before I see my kids grow up. Before I see them be able to have kids and get married and go to finish school and all that kind of stuff. I want to be able to be a great grandmama. That's my fear, not being able to <laughs> see that. And would I conquer that for $1,000 hell to the north? No way. I wouldn't do it for a million. Not, nope, nope, not going to happen. Because that's what I want. I want, I don't, I never, I don't want to die without seeing my kids grow up and have the life that they deserve and want. Um, what else? It was some, another thing, something else with that question. Oh, what cheers you, oh no, what questions do you hate to answer? I don't really hate to answer questions. I don't like to answer sex questions. That ain't even me. Um, I know I'm grown. I know people that's grown have sex, but I feel like what I do in my bedroom ain't no goddamn body business. So I don't answer those kind of questions. Um... I always felt like that. Whatever happens between me and my man, whether it's freaky or, or or just really just, what do I want to say, like wholesome like type shit, they ain't y'all business. So that's the only thing I, I hate to answer. Um, and another question is how do I, how do I feel about being a twin? I don't, I don't, I, she my sister. Hey, that's it. Um, Lastly, oh no no, what cheers you up? Talking to you guys. I could be pissed off, but if I come to a video, y'all probably sometimes you won't even know. And you know, or what cheers me up? If I could be down as hell, like today, like I found out that my cousin passed away, and I'm like, God damn, another death in my family. If you know and you've been following me, I've been having deaths back to back to back in my family so to find out this again from my cousin that's in st louis had passed away i was just like damn so um but when i you know think about doing a video all that goes away when i'm having a bad day and i see a comment saying hey i like your videos you seem really cool or you i want to get to know you that type of stuff that cheers me up when i see my kids wake up and breathe, you know, I'm good, you know what I'm saying, I always try to think positive, and you should too, um, lastly, what is your favorite thing to order at your favorite restaurant, okay, since I can order this at two different restaurants, I'm telling you, it's, it's the business, Southwestern Egg Rolls, and you can get them from Chili's and, uh, the Cheesecake Factory, they the business, I, and if you know me, I always say that, I love me some Southwestern egg rolls from Chili. So, if any of y'all want to send me a gift card, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. They got, go get them. You can go get that little triple dipper platter at Chili's. And you can get those with the little sliders. I'm, I'm just saying. And, and some chicken crispers. Mouth watering already. Go to Cheesecake Factory, you can get some of those as an appetizer, and then you can get, I'm just saying, or when they be like eight of them as an appetizer at, at, at uh, Cheesecake Factory, I'm just saying. 
So, yeah, that's the questions I have. Thanks for everybody that have tuned in and commented and said, hey, this is what I want to know about. Shout out to y'all. I will be doing these more often because I like doing these. I like to get to know y'all. Y'all get to know me, stuff like that. Hey, um, don't forget the It's All About Support event that's happening July the 7th through the 9th here in Las Vegas. We will have a very, very good time. It's going to be the whole weekend, July the 7th through the 9th. So it's going to be a It's All About Support weekend. So tell somebody to tell somebody and we all going to have fun and we're going to support somebody. Um, follow me on our social media sites by the Ghetto Review, T-H-A, not T-H-E. And I'll talk to you all in the next video. Peace.